7 Ocean Mysteries Scientists Haven T Solved Yet Hello and welcome to Top 10 Wonders YouTube Channel So before we get started make sure to hit that like button Subscribe to our YouTube channel for our future updates The Earth is mainly a water world, more than 70% of its surface is covered by oceans And yet we know so little about what resides beneath the waves The ocean, in this light, is like an alien world within our own Many of its creatures are still unknown to us, both in kind and number. Their behaviors and adaptations remain inexplicable. Even the very contours of this world are still unmapped, we probably know more about the surface of Mars than we know about the ocean floor. Understanding the sea is to understand our planet better, at a fundamental level. There's so much about how the planet works that is basically preserved in this sort of underwater museum, Vicky Farini, senior research scientist at Columbia University, told Vox's Mandy Wynn last year. But not only is the ocean a source of mystery, it's also a place of adventure. On Unexplainable, Vox's podcast about big mysteries and all the things we learn by investigating the unknown, we've been talking to the scientists who have gone on journeys to understand this watery realm. They've come across fearsome creatures like the giant squid, conducted forensic investigations of mysterious deaths, visited octopus cities, and ventured down as deep as humanly possible. How could you not be excited about it? Farini said of ocean exploration. People have this passionate enthusiasm for outer space, which is totally understandable. But the ocean is equally if not more exciting to me because it's here. It's the same planet that we're on. And there are countless discoveries yet to make in it. So let's dive in. Here are 7 great ocean mysteries we've uncovered, starting at the surface, and then going down deep, deep into the dark. Number 7. Where is plastic pollution in the ocean hiding, and how does it get there? First off, a story that starts on the surface, on land. Every year, tons of plastic manufactured on land is dumped into the sea. But scientists have yet to complete the work of figuring out all the nooks and crannies our plastic pollution nudges its way into. 99% of all the plastic is missing, oceanographer Eric Van Seville says. We have dark plastic. Like the astronomers have dark matter and dark energy, we oceanographers, we don't have an idea where most of the plastic in our ocean is. We've lost it. Researchers like Van Sabiel want to know where the plastic is going so they can better understand its effects on marine life. What harm is this plastic causing to marine life, and can it be undone? Number 6. Why do whales strand themselves on beaches? And are humans to blame? Diving deeper, we find marine life. Scientists are constantly asking questions about their most peculiar behaviors. For example, every year, Thousands of marine mammals like whales end up trapped on beaches or in the shallow waters near shore. According to some studies, these strandings have been increasing. But why do the animals do this? And are humans to blame? It's an incredibly difficult question to answer because while we know that humans are affecting the ocean environment, it can be hard to parse how those effects impact individual species. But it's important to figure it out. Because how do you protect animals when you're not sure exactly how you're harming them? Darlene Kedden, aka Dr. Doom, a Woods Hole researcher who specializes in forensic investigations into whale deaths. She conducts law and order type investigations into whale deaths. What keeps us in the lab and on the beach is looking for more and more information, Kedden said. She also explains how she conducts her investigations. Number 5. Can a human really be friends with an octopus? In 2020, the documentary My Octopus Teacher provoked a fascinating question, can a caring relationship form between humans and a sea creature like an octopus? It's not known whether the friendship in the documentary was genuine from the octopus's perspective. The interior lives of animals may never be fully understood. But it's a fascinating question to think through. It's like interstellar travel, science writer Ferris Jobber says. It's like the closest we can come to that kind of alien contact moment. If we can connect with an octopus, what else could we connect with? Number 4. How many fish live in the ocean's mysterious twilight zone? As you dive deeper into the ocean, less and less sunlight shines through. About 200 meters beneath the surface, you reach an area called the mesopelagic, or the twilight zone. Sunlight fades almost completely out of view, and our knowledge about these dark depths fades too. It's almost easier to define it by what we don't know than what we do know, and Don Lavery, an acoustician at the Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution, told Vox's Bird Pinkerton. It's remote. It's deep. It's dark. It's elusive. It's temperamental. Yet this region of the ocean is extremely important. It's possible, but not certain, 
that more fish are living in the twilight zone than the rest of the ocean combined, and these creatures of the dark ocean play a large role in regulating the climate. Number 3, Why do so many sea creatures glow? It's wrong to say there's no light in the depths of the ocean. There's light, it just doesn't come from the sun. Deep in the ocean, and also on the surface, divers find otherworldly displays of bioluminescence, sparkling like fireworks in the dark. Almost every deepwater creature lights up in some way. There was just all of this flashing and glowing and sparkle all around me, marine biologist Edie Witter told about her undersea adventures. You're not viewing it at a distance. You're in the center of the display. In fact, you're part of it because any movement you make triggers flashes all around you. Witter has spent her career trying to figure out why so many marine creatures glow. The quest has led her to confront some of the weirdest, most elusive creatures on Earth. Number 2, only 20% of the ocean floor has been mapped. What's down there? What's down there? Currently, only 20% of the seafloor has been mapped, making it a more mysterious place than the surface of the Moon or Mars. That means every time explorers go down to the bottom, they are potentially seeing things no human has ever laid eyes on before. More people went on the Apollo missions to the Moon than have been to the Challenger Deep, the deepest part of the deepest trench in the ocean. Nicole Yamas is one of those lucky explorers. She told Unexplainable what it's like down there. Number 1, can we drill through the seafloor, to the mantle of the Earth? Scientists' curiosity doesn't just stop at the bottom of the sea. They're also interested in what lies beneath it. 60 years ago, geologists tried to drill down through the seabed to pull up a piece of the Earth's mantle, a deep layer of the Earth no human has directly observed. Their mission didn't go exactly as planned. But it sowed the seeds for a new field of science that has helped rewrite not only the history of the planet but, potentially, our definitions of life itself. That brings us to the end of this video. If you love similar content like this, take a look at my other videos and. If you like it please smash the like button and make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. If you have further questions, feel free to comment down below. See you in the next video.